designs here on my channel. Of course, you can find me on Instagram as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the end because I've got some fun things planned for us today. And every week I got a couple of videos that you might be interested. You'll never guess what I'm going to set up today. I have this beautiful A5 from Mommy Lay. It is a ring bound, yeah, ring bound planner that I am ready to set up. And let me tell you a little bit about why. So I only have a couple of videos about this. This is my faith planner, my faith journal. And I am looking for my 2019 faith planner. And so this is kind of what that's going to be. The problem is with this one is that it was very non-conformity. This is a, a Heidi Swap planner and it had two rings and they were not matched up. And yes, the pages were about eight five, but there was no flexibility involved between the two. Like I had to use the inserts with it, with, that came with it or else I didn't have anything or I had to use washi tape and repunch and blah, blah, blah. So today we're going to be focusing on the dashboards. And these are, of course, you know me, if there's not one out there, I'm going to make it. So I made an A5 dashboard template. And then, of course, you have the outline here of the dashboard template. But I've also included a little bookmark that we'll be using as well. Let's run through this real quick. Um, when you get it, you, there's some protective covering here. And then you have a clear acetate, um, like kind of like a fly leaf, I would say. But we're going to be using this today. And I know these are beautiful and they come with the planner. Um, uh, this this is adorable. These are ha These have tabs. And I love the fact that they're so very neutral that we can use these as a jumping off point if we wanted to, or we can use some pattern paper. What you want to do is find this on my Cairo Designs website. It's cairodesigns.blogspot.com, and it has a whole bunch of free templates. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I am addicted to making sure that you guys have all the parts and pieces you need to succeed in your plannering, and that's kind of an adjective, yes, plannering. So I've got my bookmark cut out, and this at this point I'm gonna take out this um, uh, plastic acetate here, and I'm gonna move this to the side. So what I'm gonna be using is, I'm gonna obviously cut this, and I don't have this tab here. I will be making one, but I wanted to include it for you just in case you wanted to use a larger piece of pattern paper, then it would be fine. But I thought it would be fun to use this. And what I'm going to use to decorate it is this wonderful Mommy Lay. These are the gold um, washi strips that come in the Life Organized Paper House Productions collab sticker book. And of course, if you haven't seen this, I've got obviously a rundown of what's all in there and I've used it for a couple projects and I've really stoked about it. And I'm gonna put you on fast forward so you don't really have to be painfully watching me, me move from, from here to here, but it shouldn't take long. All right, I'll be right back. Now I know that using washi tape at an angle is really not inventing the wheel with everybody having washi dashboards, but I thought it was a good way for me to show you that if you just take those washi strips in order on that sheet and put them down and then make sure you have some acetate or some sticker sheet extra parts to put underneath, then you can just trim off those extra bits of gold tape and add it to the rest of the dashboard or the bookmark in this case. Okay, so that took about seven minutes to do and I've got, the best part about it is it's double-sided. So I've got a gold side or I have this um, silver side and then don't forget, I'm going to punch holes in it, but I'll do that near the end. So I've got these scraps of this washi tape strips, and I've got a piece of paper. This is just actually from the bottom of this. It's just cardstock. What I'm going to go ahead and do is decorate this cardstock. Okay, burnished them with my fingernail, and now I'm going to fold it in half. And then the fun bit is that I've got my tab punch that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this is a trick I learned from Mika Allen. I love her show, um, her channel. She's got some great ideas. You just want to use your tab punch, but leave a space, a gap between the top. Do you see how there's just about an eighth of an inch? And then when you're ready, go ahead and punch it. Um, Double-sided tab. I'm going to go ahead and use my Mommy Lay stickers. These are from the Today ones from her Mommy Lay sticker book. And you can go ahead and um, 
trim them, cut them, put just put them on there, whatever works for you. Um, you can always use white ones. There's plenty to pick from from this sticker book. I'm just going to go ahead and put this today one here. Again, burnish it with my fingernail. Again, second side. And I, sometimes I f I'm such in tune with what I'm doing, I forget to turn the other one down upside down. So that's why we're just going to do it like that. And then voila, you have your own tab here. And instead of using regular glue stick like I usually do, I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite score tape. It is, well, I guess I'll use a little bit of it. I only have a little bit. Goodness. Well, I ran out of that kind, but I've got this other score tape. That's This is a um, an eighth of an inch. Now we're just gonna go ahead and use our hole punches. We don't need to use the template because this actually, I just used it, the one from here and it was already pre-punched, but don't forget to use that hole puncher, the, um, the template if you need to. And there I go. I've finished punching all of the holes and I did put a little bit of a gap with a pair of scissors at the end of each hole. That way I can slip it in and out within the rings without a problem. All right, so there is my bookmark. It's all ready to go. Now on to the dashboard. So all of you regulars probably already know that I'm not a huge laminator. I really don't do that for my insert covers, at least in my TM. But for my ring bound planners, I like have to have it super sturdy. And the only way that I can think about doing that, besides doubling up on paper, and I really wanted that backside cloud, is just to laminate it. And I don't need it to be perfect, and I don't need to have a border around it, and I don't need to have a pocket. I just need to have it sturdy. So there you go, weirdo kidism number. 65. So I just used a package of die cuts from Mommy Lay. This is from like way back. Um, I love this paper. I love this die cut set. And it went together, I think it was uh, March of 2016. That's how long ago it is. And of course, you see me using the trimmings off of my table, which I always do. Um, I just think using those extra little bits makes it super special. Um, it just makes it look like it's encasing that love here right in the middle. And of course I'm using my score tape to put all of those die cuts down. I did use a glue stick to put the, the, the cluster in the middle together, but to put it actually on the laminate, you've got to use score tape. Alrighty, tag time everybody. So I am addicted to making tags. I think they're a really great asset to put in any planner just because it's a great, um, bookmark for at least for me. Um, I just put three layers together, ripped, added some enamel dots, went ahead and added some die cuts and whammo, you're done. So I saw this on Mommy Lay when she was previewing her sticker book. She's like, I made these little tiny squares so we could put pictures in them. And I've been saving these tiny little mini pictures from 2015. And I thought it was about time that I got around to using them. So I'm just putting together those stickers on some two by two and a quarter by two and a half size little extra bits of paper I had lying around. And then I just added a whole bunch of stickers from the sticker books onto those little squares. As you'll see, I punched three holes in them and then I used um, a wire O binding that I had left over from a previous project. And of course I only needed three holes, but it worked out great and I think it really adds uh, a special homemade touch to any planner. Now it's assembly time. As you can see, I loaded up my entire table with a bunch of goodies, including the album, mini album I just made, one of those paper clips I got from one of my friends, Norma, down in Planner Chicks in Paris. And then I just kept adding a few bunch of little bits, um, some hustle from Live Life and Create. Plus, um, this is my trick. If you, I'm sure you've seen it before. I always put washi tape down on top of my planner to decorate. Then I added stickers this time. And then on top of that, I always add a die cut. That way um, the planner isn't harmed in any decoration whatsoever. If you just add a few bits here and there, it really makes your planner something special, including those stickers, um, a few more bookmarks, a couple more die cuts, and I'm in business. I couldn't be more happy with the way this 
um, layout turned out. Of course, I'll be doing more dashboards and showing you my process on how I put my faith planner together for next time. Enjoy, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.